Happy St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. We're here and we're gonna cook um, corned beef and cabbage today in our trailer and uh, have a couple of beer with it later on. And we're gonna show you the process of how we make it. Well, not really how we make it. We make it a little different way at home, but we're gonna try the U.S. way. So, catch you later. So Bobby, so Bobby put the corned beef in the pot and this was the package um i think it was filtered water oops sorry about that robles gourmet point cut corned beef and um the price on that was 19 nine so it's 3.7 pounds so we're gonna try her so he added some water to cover it as it said we have our potatoes ready cut up our cabbage our turnip and our carrot ready to go in the pot when it's ready to go Last year we did it here and we used these spices and we didn't really like them, so we're not going to use them this year. It gave us a pickly taste, so. Anyway, we're going to boil this away for three and a half to four hours until it's tender. So here we go. Yeah, and when I said turnip, we call them turnip in Canada. And you guys call them rutabagas, rutabaga. So anyway, and it was really strange. They were in a wax on top of this peelings, which we never ever seen them back home. Hey, Bobby, there's- No, never saw that one. Never, never, never seen any wax. It was, it was weird. So we're gonna let this boil now for two and a half, three hours, check it. And then uh, we'll add our vegetables according to your plan. Let me see how it goes. Top of the morning to ya. Daisy, are you happy St. Patty's Day to ya? Don't you like your hat? Easy. Oh, put it on top of your head. Daisy doesn't like her hat. Bobby's in the process of taking his sleeves off his shirt because it's 90 degrees here, so he, they're too hot to wear. Close enough, I guess. Close enough. <laughs> A little bit warmer, not cooler. Yeah, it's just cookies. It's a St. Patty's Day shirt. They're supposed to look crazy. Okay, our meat has been boiling for what they said three hours. And then we're just putting in our turnip first. I know it's not at a boil yet, but we will uh, set for a little bit and then put our our carrots and potatoes and cabbage in next. So I just added the potatoes in and I'm going to take this beef out Ooh. and just leave it sit for a while. And I'm going to put the cabbage in. We're going to have a meal for a week. Jeepers creepers. 
My carrots are really tiny, so I'm gonna put them in last. So I took the meat out, and I'm just gonna cover it loosely with the tin foil. So it will stay warm, and because uh, I didn't have any room in the pot, so we'll just let that go for a while. directions. We do it a different way at home. We usually have, um, well not the corned beef, people still have corned beef at home, but we have uh, salt riblets and you probably do have them here too. But So yeah we just put the carrots in and uh, I was just saying um, we uh, at home we usually have our riblets, like uh, salted riblets and we put them in and people use corned beef as well and um, we uh, cook them as normal we we time everything like it was on the the corned beef package and and uh, some people in newfoundland do a little different and they put the 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 peas and pudding in them uh, it's a process of cooking in a in a mesh or um, like you make jelly like a strained um, mesh and then uh, peas and pudding they say and they can make some pudding as well peas pudding so it's really good it's you know if you're a Newfoundlander you know and if you're Cape Breton you know too because you're close to Newfoundland so anyway we're gonna try this out So we just want to check to see, there's a nice potato there, let's see if it'll stay up for me, I, you know, and we're just going to check to see if it's, how dense it is, okay, so it's a little dense, or, so we're just going to leave that in for a few more minutes, when the potatoes are done, she's done. So I just checked the potato. Not bad. They put it on camera. But uh, we're we're in like Flynn. So anyway, we're gonna serve her up, Buttercup. So just gonna move our meat out of the way here. in the morning for breakfast. Have you ever tried that? It's delicious. Okay, so that's that. 
that pot's empty. We have a flyaway turnip. And now we're going to eat. There's our meat. There's the veggies. Can't get my belly. Bobby's getting lifted up. It was delicious. Good to the last bite. Empty plate.